Welcome back to my channel. Just going to show off a frame I just won from a uh, Facebook page, Gank Multi Rotors. This is Matt Gank, but he has uh, some frames out and a little bit of information. Uh, in this package, I have won a, it's a Nemesis Micro, 3 inch. So this is the 3 inch version, and this version comes with uh, some prints. So I'm just going to do like a quick overview of this frame and everything that came in the bag here. Oops. So bag's empty. So we have a uh, little kit of PTU pieces. So I imagine that's what you get with the with the print kit. And then we have the hardware top plate and bottom plate so pretty pretty good looking pretty good looking stuff all right so we'll just go over uh what we got here in the bag and take a little measurements and some weights and see what we think of it This is the bottom plate, three millimeters. And from motor post to motor post, it is 82, looks like 82 millimeters. Wow, look at, look at how, it's like a, a wide X. We have 121 millimeters. And then the stack configuration, this is pretty cool. Um, kind of do every every board out there. So we have a, a whoop style board. Can you see that? Let me zoom in just a little bit more. All right, so we have our whoop. So our uh, four corners for the whoop. And then we have 20 by 20 and then 16 by 16. So three millimeter thick bottom plate uh, seems to be Seems to be a pretty, pretty good thickness. Oh, wow. I'm actually putting some, some decent pressure on those arms. <laughs> that thing ain't budging. Uh, the one thing that surprised me about the Armitan tadpole is the twist. And this one doesn't seem to have very much. Um, I prefer a rigid frame. Uh, I just think that you get less bobble when you're just kind of floating around. You, you don't have all the, the motor vibration exercising that, that looseness. I know the bigger quads are that way. The smaller quads, I don't know if it makes as much difference. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be pretty, uh, pretty rigid. We'll have to see how strong it is. And, and trust me, I'll put it through its paces. This is usually where they break right here or right in here. Or a five incher comes up from behind and snacks it right there. All right, so the hardware uh, is 20 millimeters, so the stack height is 20 millimeters here. And it looks like we have kind of an unusual pattern here, and that's because you can do a nine millimeter uh, all the way around, or you can stretch it out to a 12 millimeter. So all, all four holes will be either nine or 12. Uh, so that's kind of nice um, because your like your nano motor usually is a nine, so it'll be the inside here, and then like your uh, 13, 14 motors will be out here at the 12. But then there's also an eight millimeter. So like if you have the the eight millimeter hole for the three for just three uh, mounting points, uh, it looks like there's groove the way it's grooved. You can fit it in there. Okay, so that's that's kind of neat thinking about that stuff um, let me see here I guess here's a 25 a 2.5 millimeter prop okay and here um, now he had mentioned that you can put a, a 2.7 millimeter prop on a two and a half inch okay so here's a here's a three inch prop and you can see there's a nice amount of clearance in here, um, more than I'm used to. 
I, I don't know what kind of performance that's going to give us. I think it would give us a little more, it would make it feel a little bit, you know, a little more st stepped on the ground, if you will. So here's a, here's another three inch prop. And then in the back, so it looks to me like the, the back and the front arms are the same length. So it looks like quite a, quite a bit of clearance here. It should be interesting to see how this this stacks up. <laughs> Get it? All right. So we have some some mounting uh, pieces. Now I am kind of surprised that this doesn't go all the way across to act like you know a soft mount for the. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm going to have to see what it looks like once once we mount the motors. Um, let's get this popped on there. This actually clips on pretty pretty well. I, I thought it was gonna just fall off. But you push that down onto that frame, it it's on there. It doesn't come off real easy unless you really work it off. But I, I kind of prefer to have a, a piece going all the way across there. However, every time I crash them, it just ends up ripping all the way around and it's gone anyway. So that's kind of cool. We'll put the motor on and clip that on and see what we think of that. Uh, pretty cool here. We got these uh, covers for our wires. Uh, personally, this is the first time I've, I'm going to have an opportunity to use these. I I never purchased them before, but you can see there's a there's a little notch out for your uh, wire strap to go around. So you can use some really small wire straps to protect your motor wires. Because if you get a three inch prop striking those little tiny wires, they're pretty much shot. Um, and then there's some mounts. Let me see here. This one, that's one thing about these. Um, I always hate uh, these because they slide around and stuff. So I, I don't know. That sucker's on there. That ain't that ain't moving around too much. Normally I just I can slide these up and down, but this one here is. I don't know if I'm gonna get that off of there. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, let's see how that lasts. Usually usually they just slide around on there, and then my camera's always uh, riding on the bottom plate. So, yeah, we'll see how that works. And then the top plate, it's kind of really narrow top plate. Kind of reminds me of uh, like, a, like a GT uh, 349 where it's real narrow. But it has two mounting points in the back. I'll be honest with you, I really don't like the top plates that have the single mount in the back. I like to have two mounting points because I'm always using uh, zip ties on stuff. So I'm, I'm glad to see there's two mounting points. And then, of course, you have all this stuff here, which I end up covering. Usually cover that all up with a, uh, a sticky gooey pad. Uh, M3 hardware. Really, really large hardware for, uh, for a... Uh, such a small frame but I tell you what when you crash the thing and you bend all those 20 millimeters all the way back at an angle and you uh, totally rack your VTX and camera uh, I, I almost I'm gonna be happy with that right I see what our uh, the two millimeter thick for the top plate let's go ahead and and grab all of this stuff here and we'll throw it into a scale. I'll throw uh, the primary hardware first into the scale. Let's get this set up here. All right. All right, so let's just measure the bottom plate by itself. So 15, six, eight for the bottom plate top plate and now all the hardware all right so 25 27 with all the hardware and I would say that these are two things that you're gonna need to have so 26 grams total um, which is which is pretty respectable and then four of these uh, little dudes and four of these looks like you get an extra so 
29 and a half, just over 29 and a half grams for the, the whole rig. So pretty cool there. I'll go ahead and uh, put the frame together real quick so you can get a get an idea what it looks like all put together. I'm just going to jump in here real quick and show you these mounting screws. You're getting about five threads. Can you see that? Sorry. You're getting about five threads coming out of the top there, which uh, should do it. I know you want to keep the weight down, and uh, that should be fine for such a small frame, in case you're curious. And then the screws are the same length for the top plate. I'm just going to jump in here real quick. Have a uh, 14 by 14 millimeters. So this this uh, space between here is for a nano camera. So you can see the top plate on. So here's a micro camera, just to give you an idea of the, the size of what it would look like in this frame. It's it's actually, it seems to me like it, it would be too big once you put some tilt on that camera. Uh, good grief. I'll, I'll put some different mounts on here. But I actually have a nano camera going into a different build. So this is the Run Cam uh, Phoenix Nano, Phoenix 2 Nano. So that's... That's what the Phoenix 2 Nano looks like. And right here is your 20 by 20 stack mount. Let me get this over here so you can see. Okay. So here's the stack, where the stack is going to go. So as you can tell, you're going to have plenty of clearance on a Nano camera. Because this Nano camera, even though they, they call it a Nano camera, the back of this from the screw... Uh, mounting point to the back of this is actually pretty large. Um, just to give you, give you an example here. Here's a micro camera. And then here's the nano camera. Same. See how the connector uh, here sticks out the back? But that nano camera where it mounts is almost as thick as that camera. to Completely. So it's, it's actually... A pretty good sized camera for for a nano you know because when i think a nano i think of stuff that you know fits into whoops stuff like this that's uh, very very small you know you don't even you don't even know what's in there and that's the eos one <laughs> EOS, and that's so stupid the eos one doesn't have any mounting points on it and cadex at the io just kind of looked at me funny when when i was showing it to him so not sure what's up with that. Anyway, make a long video longer. Let me finish putting this together. And then for your micro camera, so if we just put this up to the... So that would represent my 16 by 16 stack. So here's your micro camera. That's about the amount of tilt that I would need. So you can see, you would have to put your camera pretty close to that standoff or past it. Um... If you came back even that far, you're probably going to run the connector into the stack. So that's something to keep in mind is, is uh, the size of camera. This is a uh, Fox here. Was oh, this a Monster? Yeah, this is a Monster Pro. It's a micro. So food, food for thought on that one. All right, we got her all together. Let's take a good look at Kind of cool looking little frame, ain't it? <laughs> Look at that. Obviously, these aren't tied down, but you get the drift. You get the drift. Uh, so yeah, that'll work uh, work out pretty good. Got some some protection on the ends of the frame there, and if we do a top mounted battery, I'd probably uh, maybe put some some fat zip ties to make legs. I don't know if you ever seen anybody do that. Take these large zip ties and you bend you bend them in like that. You zip tie that on there and then that acts like a, a cleat for these little small dudes and, and a zip tie can handle quite a bit of gravel road 
before it gives out and you put it right towards the end of the frame so it saves your motor screws uh, so that's that's what I use as feet on some really small ones but anyway so here's the nano camera and this is about the camera tilt uh, roughly the camera tilt that I would use and here's a 16 by 16 stack uh, screw let's just pretend that's the stack screw so you can see plenty of of clearance I mean you can really I mean you can rotate that <laughs> you can rotate that camera all the way around no problem so plenty plenty of room I just imagine this is a 20 millimeter stack height I'm gonna be running 25 millimeter on this if if I go if I go to that other quad I may end up holding on to this frame and doing another build uh, like what I'm doing with the, the Armitan the Armitan tadpole build I'm working on I had to stop because the flight controller and ESC weren't playing the game so I'm got parts on the way for that anyway yeah pretty pretty good amount of space there and then this would be uh, your stack mounting screw or stack mounting bolt for your uh, to the rear so you can see that top plates pretty narrow so there's the rear so you got all of this space behind there which is uh, just about 20 millimeters of space behind your uh, stack screw so pretty pretty good amount of space there I have a deep pinned RXSR and just stick it back there and see uh, you know what I think that will work I think you could get a RXSR uh, back there I know obviously this direction you could totally put one in and then considering your three inch props aren't you know most frames you don't have much leeway for stuff sticking out of the back this one here you, you got a fair amount of leeway you know that prop that prop is a good space away from that that frame uh, most of the time you don't have any space you kind of so here's a, another three inch prop. So yeah, 16 by 16 stack, nano camera, um, RXSR D pinned, or even better, Crossfire Nano. And put a sticky pad on there and put your, put your 3S pack on there. Oh man. Yep. This will this will be coming coming soon to the channel. I'm gonna build him up. This looks like a lot of fun. Let me get uh, so the top plate width is 27 millimeters at the front part, and then the narrowest part is 11 and a half millimeters. Okay, the overall length from from the end here 75 and a half to the back. And the bottom plate is uh, 75 and a half by 30. That's including the hardware side. And then back down here is 27. And then back here is 19. And then the widest point here is 43. So rocking little frame uh thank you uh matt for uh, letting me i had fun i got to win this frame and thank you for sending me the the uh the ptu pieces and everything so we'll get this bad boy into a build this is the three inch nemesis micro tell me what you think should go in on this thing and then uh, i'll try to get some links uh to where you can get this i think this frame is only like 20 it's like twenty dollars or something. I have to look again. I'll, I'll try to find a link to the website, and then here's here's his information. So, um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in comments. If there's something here that I didn't cover or I should have, or you know, I'm not like a total expert at, at this. 
uh, you know, leave it in comments or let me know. And uh, if, if this video was uh, helpful to you or entertaining, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> and if you hated it, man, you give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.